Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to your 59th Android tutorial for the new boss, and again with me, Travis. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically, let me go back here. Again, you can switch your landscape and portrait view by 7 or 9 on your numpad. And make sure the num lock is disabled if you're on Windows. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to be able to redefine where this layout, whether it's in landscape or portrait mode. And I didn't want to create a whole new layout just for this example, so we're going to use this first little uh, activity that we created. So as you can see here, it won't really matter when we turn it to uh, landscape mode, but let's say we had like five buttons or something like that, and then we switch over into landscape mode. Some of those buttons would run off the screen and then you'd have to scroll down to see them and that just wouldn't be that cool. So what we're going to do is set these two buttons uh, to be side by side instead of vertical. So a horizontal layout there. And basically that's all this tutorial is going to be. Pretty simple, pretty easy, but basically I just wanted to show you guys the concept of you can rearrange how it looks in landscape and in portrait separately. Um, so that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. Um, not nothing sweet for the most part but it's useful you know you can set uh, again the orientation in the manifest like we've done before I believe so it won't rotate but let's say you do want to allow it to rotate and you just want to switch up the basically um, basically the way it looks so we're gonna open up what was that activity called or that layout called main was it okay so we open up our main XML and basically we're just going to grab everything that's in here and copy it because uh, you know we kind of want it to be the same we're just going to change up some stuff so now what we need to do is right here we created a folder previously right when we were setting up this application we haven't got to it yet but basically this layout land is where we're going to define what it looks like in the landscape view so what we're going to do is just right click on this folder and go to new Android XML file and we need to call it the exact same name so we're gonna say main.xml again it's a layout but it has to be the same name as your uh, you know your portrait landscape or whatever um, your portrait XML so there we go we have that set up now what we're gonna do is basically let's see here paste everything and uh, you know check it out that's what it's gonna look like as of now just like I showed you on the emulator but now we're just gonna change up something so we're just gonna copy a linear layout and um, paste it here like I said it's not too complex of a tutorial but we're just gonna change this to horizontal you know and then check it out it's a little bit different a little bit nicer uh, not really but uh, you know it works and then we can also do something like new text view just that appears in the landscape view like uh, text view Android text nothing awesome but uh, it, we're gonna go with it Android uh, layout width is going to wrap text and you guys are pretty familiar with the whole XML thing by now I hope at least you understand how to do it and you can mess around and get wrap oh wait wrap contact content not wrap text what am I thinking So there we go. Um, now we have this magic, magic thing. After we uh, kind of narrow down this other linear layout, because it's not appearing right now. So we're gonna say for the height, wrap content, and shabam! There we go. We have our new layout that's just gonna appear in the landscape view. But again, a central thing you guys need to know for this tutorial is basically when you define two different you know the portrait view and the landscape view differently instead of letting the Android program do itself um, if you want a different layout you need to label them the same exact name 
And then the other thing is, you also want to have all of your references the exact same in the landscape view, as well as your portrait view. Otherwise, when you click on it, because again, we defined all our buttons and everything in Java, you want to have that reference bridge into the XML the same, whether it's in landscape mode, mode or in uh, portrait mode. So there we go. Let's just test it out real quick. Save it and run it. And hopefully it works. I mean, that's pretty much the only thing you're going to use this layout land for. Um, we probably aren't going to even use it again. I just want to show you guys uh, you have the availability to do so if you choose. So, you know, it's kind of nice if you're developing some kind of game that, uh, you know, the menu, you want all those items or all those buttons laid out a certain way. Um, generally, I just set the landscape or set the portrait view in the Android manifest if I wanted to do something like a game, but just giving you guys the option or the choices to do so. Like I said, I just keep talking to kind of delay some time here because I'm kind of sick. I don't know what that's about, but uh, there we go. And let's start up our starting point activity. Everything works in portrait view. Now let's switch over to landscape view. Again, we get this magical text that only appears in that view. And it goes away once we go over there. And again, all our references are the exact same. So we're going to click this as well. And as you can see, if we, um, you know, if we add one here, it's at six right now. And if we switch it over, it kind of restarts everything. So that's something you guys will kind of want to take note of as well, because right now our total is zero again, even though it's six. And then we tilt our phone, and you're like, crap. But you know, for menus and stuff, it's going to work for you. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that tutorial, even though it's kind of lame. But uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one.